Hello, I'm Dr. Zev Goldig, Head of Anesthesia, Recovery and Pain Service here at Carmel Hospital in Haifa, Israel, and also past president of the European Society of Anesthesiology and Intensive Care. In this video, I will be demonstrating how NOL monitoring helps us clinicians to provide personalized analgesia by giving us an objective reflection of nociception during bariatric surgery. Obesity is a known risk factor for opioid-induced respiratory depression, and these patients are at increased risk for obstructive sleep apnea. Therefore, utilizing anesthetic techniques that promote rapid emergence, minimal postoperative sedation, and early ambulation are desirable. Adopting an opioid sparing protocol reduces the risk of opioid-induced respiratory depression and less postoperative nausea and vomiting. However, it can be challenging to predict if this type of analgesia regimen will be effective, making it vital to monitor nociception alongside depth of anesthesia. Join me in the OR and let's see how NOL can help us during these surgeries. We have now connected the probe, which contains four different sensors measuring pletismograph and galvanic skin response for conductance. These are the main two uh, parameters. And uh, two complementary parameters supporting them are the skin temperature and movement by accelerometry. The machine is capturing the uh, signals from the patient and building up database that we will use during all the operation. As you can see here, the machine will take a couple of seconds between 30 seconds until uh, one minute, analyzing the specific data of the patient. We want to achieve the numbers between 10 and 25. These are the values we want to have during the operation, meaning that the management of the analgesia during the operation is a good management. The induction uh, of the anesthesia will be using the drugs that you can see in this list. Because there is still no stimulus, you can see that the null is uh, in the value of uh, 16, in this moment, 15, 16. We will have the opportunity to measure, during this operation, three important parameters. Null for nociception and pain. BIS for the B spectral index, which is a kind of a electroencephalogram and the third one is the train of four and the uh, monitoring of the neuromuscular function uh, showing the relaxation during the uh, operation and we will try using the null to spare maximum that we can the uh, quantity and the dosage of the opioids. So intubation is one of, of the strongest stimulus at the beginning of the operation. You can see at the null monitor what is happening when we uh, put the uh, tube in. The interaction between BIS and the null index is uh, very important. It will give us the, the exact status of the patient uh, regarding hypnosis on one side and analgesia on the other side. After the machine uh, captured and analyzed during the first minute of the anesthesia, this personalized values for this patient, this will allow us to have a, what is called a personalized anesthesia. That means that the values of the null of this patient will be values uh, that are adapted to the nociception activity of this particular patient. So we can see that these are very, very useful tools 
how to control uh, all parameters of anesthesia. Now we are starting the operation and uh, we can look at the values of the null and mark here events, stimuli, the incision. And you can see that the null is slowly reacting and uh, showing us the values of nociception. What is important here is the trend and what is uh, the values that we are getting over one minute. This is coming back to the baseline of a appropriate level of analgesia and hypnosis. We could achieve uh, reducing MAC uh, of this patient to very, very uh, low values because we are controlling all the time null index and BIS. As you can see, the trend allow us now to uh, lower the uh, dosage of remifentanil, of the anal analgetics. So we will try. Taking, taking advantage of the sparing effect of opioids that the null will allow us. Reducing the uh, opioids dosage during the operation is very important because uh, one of the very well-known side effects is post-operative nausea and vomiting. Since we started using the null index uh, during our operations together with the BIS, we could reduce uh, in a good way uh, the uh, use of opioids to the minimum necessary uh, dosage. And then we had much less post-operative nausea and vomiting and different side effects we didn't want to have. At this stage of the operation, the uh, surgeon asked us to create deliberate hypertension in order to check hemostasis. As you can see, blood pressure is high, but null didn't change at all. The classical approach was basing our anesthesia and the drugs we give according to blood pressure and heart rate. Here, we know that it is not related at all with pain or no, a high nociception because we have the null. And uh, this is an artificial hypertension created by us only for the purpose of checking whether this patient has bleeding. As you can see, the BIS value was very, very stable during all the procedure not related to other changes in blood pressure or heart rate. Now, as we can see, at the emergence from uh, anesthesia, we will see uh, higher values of null index and of BIS in parallel. Without any big changes uh, in uh, heart rate or blood pressure still. How are you? How do you feel? Fine. Fine? You have pain now? Mm. No. Fantastic. With null and BIS monitoring, we were able to provide anesthesia tailored to the patient's actual needs, minimizing the use of opioids with a fast recovery from anesthesia with no related complications.